Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am super excited about today's video and today we're gonna to be talking about 15 clothing staples for spring. I thought it would be fun to embrace the new season and curate a little staple wardrobe for said season. Now I've already done a spring clothing haul and there are a lot of those pieces from that video trickled in here, but I wanted to curate kind of a, a capsule wardrobe, one could call this honestly, because this just has all of your basics covered. And those basics can create a myriad of different outfits and get you through everything that you need in terms of your wardrobe for the new season and once you have all your basics covered then you can kind of go in and play with color and add in some fun accessories and shoes and whatnot but i am going to be covering the basics for spring here today i've got a number of clothing items three pairs of shoes 15 items total and these are what i believe to be the basics, all of the style basics that you need in a spring wardrobe. Now, I wanted to say a disclaimer because I do live in Canada and spring is like really hit or miss. Like I will never forget in 2020, I was living in Toronto. It was a full blown winter blizzard in May. And then on the West Coast, our friends and family were like baking in the sun. So spring can kind of be very hot and cold in Canada. And I recognize that seasons differ depending on where you live across the world. But hopefully in general, these can carry across multiple uh, regions but for the most part this is very much for the climate that I live in and with that bias out of the way my friends let us begin I'm gonna start on this side of the rack starting with pantaloons we actually have four bottoms here to go through and I simply had to include blue jeans. You may or may not be a jean person, but for me, a pair of blue jeans is an absolute staple. I'm wearing blue jeans right now. It is probably the most worn item in my wardrobe when it comes to pants, but jeans in general, depending on what colors you kind of gravitate towards, I really think that a pair of blue jeans is a necessity. It can be dressed up or dressed down, and I wear blue jeans with absolutely everything. I actually decided to include a light wash pair specifically because I felt like that felt a little bit more spring to me you know the weather is getting warmer we're embracing the lighter neutrals a pair of light blue jeans necessary number two on the staples list is actually a pair of black denim and this is actually like a washed out washed out black would you call this it gives it a little bit more of a lighter edge and these ones in particular I actually love because they have like really flared slit bottoms which I think looks really fun with boots and with sneakers I mean any shoe really but I think it just adds kind of a cool texture to the jeans and these ones in particular I've been wearing so much this wash has become such a staple in my wardrobe when you're wanting to have a little bit of a cooler edge on nights out and whatnot I think it's just a nice option to have in your wardrobe and if I were to be curating a capsule wardrobe this would be necessary for me so this is staple number two in the bottoms for staple number three I've actually decided to opt for a neutral skirt and I did a skirt instead of a dress because I just thought that a skirt within the wardrobe is a lot more versatile I really love a skirt with knee-high boots but I also love a skirt with sneakers a skirt with sandals a skirt with heels like it's just super versatile and then you can wear it with any of the tops any of them the cardigan the sweater the shirts the t-shirts the bodysuit like you can wear any of your tops and it just makes the outfit very variations a lot more substantial if you're doing a skirt whereas if you wear a dress like yeah sure you can put different sweaters or coats on top but a dress just isn't as versatile as a skirt so I thought if we're trying to get like the maximum outfits out of here really amp up that versatility it's gonna be a skirt now I'm not gonna lie I have continuously been on a hunt for like a good silk satin plain skirt because I do love that vibe a little bit more but I have this beautiful pleated nice light beige skirt that I think is equally as versatile with all of the things in this lineup and I'm still trying to make myself become more of a skirt and dress person it's something that I really just want to wear more of in my wardrobe in general and so having these like neutral basics to start with I think is perfect to play in your wardrobe and have a little bit of a more fun feminine piece so neutral skirt has been included in the staples lineup so let's move on to tops I kept it really really simple really plain really neutral when it came to the tops and you can definitely obviously add a little bit more fun and color if you're feeling that for the spring but again I just wanted to get all the basics covered so the next staple number four is actually a bodysuit and I've talked about this particular one before in my very late discovery of bodysuits it was a whole thing but I think out of all the bodysuits that I have out of all the colors that I purchased, a white bodysuit is my most worn. And I actually have like my four and five is a white bodysuit and a white t-shirt. And technically you could like swap these out for something else. Both of these relatively look the same and do the same in your wardrobe. But the reason why I have a bodysuit and a white t-shirt as my staple is because I feel like it just gives off 
a very different feeling when you wear them. I think that the bodysuit is a little bit more of a dressed up feeling, whereas the oversized t-shirt does just feel a little bit more casual to me. So I think that this is like the more dressed up version, the t-shirt's a little bit more casual, but at the same time, both of them are also very basic pieces. So I couldn't choose between the two. I felt like both of them needed to be in my staples. So both of them are so worn in my wardrobe and my bodysuit in particular, I actually have another one saved in a shopping cart online because I have worn this one so much. It's actually kind of like not really white anymore. It's really turned gray and quite dirty and I also have a hole in it. So this for me, no matter what season, is a staple across the board. Same with the white t-shirt. I'm a little bit embarrassed to show my staple number six because I have just destroyed it with fake tan and bronzer. All of my white button up shirts are currently destroyed on the collar because of this. I don't really know how to fix that issue, but yeah, when you're wearing makeup, you're getting dressed up. It's gonna get on your collar. But anyway, <laughs> your classic button up white shirt, such a staple again, no matter what the season is. I have, I believe I have an entire video dedicated to how I style the white shirt, but that is quite dated at this point. I feel like if I watch that right now, I'd feel a little bit cringe, <laughs> but it's the same white shirt. She's still living in my wardrobe. Absolutely love this one. I do love a very oversized fit when it comes to my button up, button down, whichever way you call it, uh, shirts, the classic shirt. And the white one just goes with absolutely everything. I mean, you could do any color really, but specifically white to get your neutral basics covered, necessary, absolutely, in the wardrobe. And then I kind of wanted my next staple to be a colored shirt. So whatever you want that to be, whether you have like a patterned blouse, a bright hot pink shirt, like whatever kind of pop of color that you want, I think it is important, especially going into spring to have a pop of color. I did opt for blue simply because this shirt has been my complete go-to uniform lately. And I think that the blue, this nice light blue specifically, is really nice for spring. It just feels really clean and classic. And it's also a shirt and style that will live throughout the season. It's not only reserved for spring, you know? So this is something that's new in for me this spring and kind of a new color that's been in my wardrobe. So I'm really excited about it. But staple number seven is just adding a pop of color. So my color just happens to be very muted in general. But uh, yeah, this blue shirt for spring, my friend, she is living. I am loving it so much. And I actually, like I'm still really loving the brown. So if you wanted a little bonus, this little brown shirt here could also be included in that. So whichever, whatever pop of color suits your fancy, have that be your staple number seven. <laughs> staple number eight, my friends, is a cardigan, a neutral cardigan. I have recently become such a cardigan person. I feel like that's gonna be the next thing that I really start to like collect and hoard in my wardrobe. And it's because I just came to the realization that it is the easiest thing to throw on. If you don't know what to wear and you have like a really good cardigan, your outfit's done, you're good, you are set. And this one in particular, I mean, again, is new in my wardrobe, but this one in particular is neutral. It's also structured. It has a much more structured feeling, which makes it perfect for wearing casually or actually dressing up, which I think is really nice. And it's also cropped, which I think also gives it a much more clean feeling. So if you want it to be specific, cardigan is the staple, whatever cardigan you want, but perhaps a more structured and cropped cardigan specifically is the staple. So yeah, I have worn this both to like events dressed up with boots, or you can wear it very casually slumming out with some loose jeans, whatever you feel. So I just think that the cardigan is excellent and has become a huge staple in my wardrobe. So I'm including it here in the staples. So cardigan, absolutely a staple for spring. And like I said, like depending on where you live, spring doesn't always necessarily mean the warmest weather. So I'm including some knitwear in here so that you can layer up and make sure that you're protecting yourself if it gets a little bit breezy and chilly. So that leads us to our next staple, which is a knit sweater. And again, this could be very different depending on where you live and depending on what your weather is. But if it does get a little bit extra breezy and chilly, then I definitely wanted to include a big, like thick, chunky knit sweater, something that's actually gonna provide warmth for me. And like I mentioned with the bottoms, like this particular shade, it's a nice creamy off-white color. It's gonna go with absolutely anything in this lineup. The options are endless with a little chunky knit crew neck here. So staples 10 and 11, I had actually originally combined into one and I was gonna say a neutral suit, but then I thought of separating it because it is important to acknowledge the fact that these are two separate pieces. So staple number 10 is a neutral trouser, whatever color that may 
may be. In previous Staples videos, I've gone with a black trouser and then a beige trouser, but I think for spring, I'm just really feeling this little creamy beige, creamy gray vibe. And that also goes for my staple number 11, which is a neutral blazer. Again, in previous staple videos, I've done a black blazer, but just to keep it a little bit more on the light side for spring, I opted for this lovely lighter neutral blazer and trouser combo, this lovely little suit. So again, with all of the tops, having this lovely plain trouser can be worn with absolutely anything. You can also dress it up and wear it with heels and wear this set as a suit. And that can be kind of like a go-to going out or event or, you know, more dressed up occasion wear if you so need. And then also the blazer can be worn very casually. You'll throw on a little bodysuit, a little white t-shirt under here, wear it with jeans. You can even wear it with a skirt if you want. I don't know if I'd combine those two colors. Maybe I would actually, that might be cute. But I'm a big lover of tailoring and this is always a staple for me in my wardrobe. I'm always looking for a nice pair of great high-waisted trouser pants and a blazer is always a necessity for me no matter what the season is. In the summer, we bring out the linen. In the spring, we'll stick to that nice wool tailored look, uh, but we'll keep it a little bit light. So this lovely little suit, the trousers and the blazer, forever a staple no matter what. Staple number 12, I opted for one piece of outerwear if I was gonna choose one thing. If I was doing a set capsule wardrobe and I could only choose one jacket or coat for spring, it would definitely be the classic trench coat. A beige trench coat or a black trench coat, kind of whatever suits your fancy. Again, I opted for the lighter option to include in the Staples video because I think it keeps it nice and light and breezy for spring. <laughs> How many times am I gonna say that in this video? This is very much like a uniform piece for me. I have always loved the trench coat. I think it is such a timeless and classic piece in anyone's wardrobe. And this one in particular is much more lightweight, which makes it really nice for layering up, heading into these warmer seasons. And it goes with absolutely everything. I live and breathe for my trench coats, truly. And I get so much wear out of them year after year after year. It is an absolute necessity in my wardrobe. So we've made our way through the clothing rack. And now I want to talk about the three shoes, the three pieces of footwear that I have in the staples. First being white sneakers, a classic pair of white sneakers, or, you know, it's kind of whatever you're most comfortable with. If you wanted to have a little bit more of a colorful sneaker, or if you wanted like a light loafer, just something that you can walk in, something that's a little bit more of your casual flat-footed option. For me, it just happens to be white sneakers. <laughs> a pair of white sneakers is always existing in my wardrobe and they go with everything. Like I said already, I love to wear my sneakers with skirts or dresses, jeans, trousers, whatever. I always have a pair of white sneakers on hand. It's my go-to casual shoe. For something a little bit more dressy or if it is a little bit more of a chilly day, you're dressing up, you're bundling up, but you still wanna have a nice elevated look, then I wanted to include black booties in this. And it's funny because this particular pair of like kitten heel boots are a little bit more dressy than your classic black booty. And since I've had these in my wardrobe, <laughs> I have not touched really any of my other boots. This is always my go-to in particular. And I love it because I feel casual still, like they're just as comfortable, but it just gives it a little bit more of an elevated and dressed up edge, having the more pointy toe and having the little cute heel. I get so much wear out of these. I wear them with absolutely everything. And I'm carrying these over from the fall and winter into spring, again, because it still can be a little bit more chilly, but these boots are pretty much only retired for me in the summertime. So staple number 14, black boots. I feel like some of you might be surprised by my final staple, staple number 15. And I've actually opted for a pair of neutral heels. I wanted to include these because I thought that it was important to have that more dressed up option. If I were, again, curating a capsule wardrobe, I definitely wanna have something that I can wear for those more dressed up occasions, for events, for date nights, and any of these outfits can be instantly elevated by adding a pair of heels. So I opted for these ones, this lovely little neutral heel. They're a slide on little mule style. They're super comfortable. And I've already gotten so much wear out of these. Any of my outfits, if I put these on, I'm instantly like, yeah. I feel dressy. And I think that's a good indication of a staple shoe, just having something that you can wear with absolutely anything and dress it up. I think that's important and it just continues to further the versatility of your wardrobe. I thought that it was an important staple to include in the lineup. So number 15, neutral heels. And with that, my friends, that concludes my roundup of 15 closet staples for spring for the current season, but also like 
wardrobe staples in general. <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts on the roundup that I have done here. Let me know in the comments down below if we share any staple favorites in our wardrobe or if there are pieces that you think I'm desperately missing in my closet. I'd love to hear from you in the comments down below. Let me know what your faves are. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. All of the pieces that I have shown here, I will do my best to link in the description box down below or if they're not available, I'll try my best to find some dupes for you. So that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here and for watching and I'll see you all very soon for a new one. Bye!